Welcome back. We found the angle in the sweet spot. Now it's time to create a burr and sharpen this knife. So first we need to understand what a burr is. The burr of your knife is when the edge of your point is folded over to one side, creating a little hook. So in this case, if we have a burr leaning to the right, when I drag my nail across this entire side, I should feel my nail hooking on. Now, if your fingers aren't very sensitive and you can't really feel it with your fingernail, then you can take a cotton ball and just drag it on the back. Once you have a burr, you'll feel the cotton ball grabbing on all those micro serrations that are folded over. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go onto the core side of our stone and we're gonna do 10 strokes per side. The reason we wanna do 10 strokes per side is we wanna make sure everything stays even as we do it. You don't wanna focus on just one side too many times to create a burr because now you're throwing off your bevel. So everything you do to one side, you need to repeat to the other. And we're gonna keep doing this until we feel a burr. So for me, I'm gonna start on the right side and we're gonna just go ahead and do 10 strokes. Cool, and we're going to check, just dragging. Or taking your cotton ball. I can already tell that there's a slight burr coming in, so we're gonna do 10 strokes on this side now. All right, that's becoming very nice and dominant. I can take my cotton ball. And it sounds like it's tearing at the sides there. Now it's important to note when we're not using the practice knife and we actually get into the real knives, you may have something that's very, very dull or a hard steel. If you have a very dull knife or a hard steel, finding the burr is gonna be a little more time intensive. But once you've already sharpened on a wicked edge system, all you have to do is plug your knife back in, sharpen, and it'll take about a minute or so depending on the condition of your knife that you're touching up. So once I've folded the burr over on one side and then I pushed the burr over on the other, that means I have a nice apex and I just need to straighten out this knife. So it's time to get into the sharpening. We're gonna start with 10 to, 10 to 12 strokes per side for each grit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then of course you gotta do the signature wicked edge flip. Boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and do 10 to 12 strokes per side on this. And remember, it's okay to do the walking motion for any size knife. So you're just trying to get used to that. Now there's two ways you can check for the sharpness. You can either do the nail test, which I prefer, or the Sharpie test. So with the nail test, all you're gonna do is take your finger and tap Lightly tap down the length of the blade. And if you finger, feel your fingernail sticking, that means you have a sharp knife. You can also take a Sharpie and just at an angle, you're gonna push down and pull back, push down and pull back. You're going to push down and pull back. If you feel a little resistance, that means you have a nice sharp knife. A couple things to note, if your Sharpie does slip or you don't feel your fingernail catching, then just start at the beginning create your burr and work through the steps again. And another note is you don't need to create a burr with every grit. You only need to do that at the beginning. So in my case, since I'm starting with my 200s, I only need to create a burr at the 200 grit. And then for the rest of my progression, I can just do the regular sharpening. Now that we have a sharp knife, let's go ahead and remove it. Start with removing your stones, get those out of the way, have your guide rods laying in the front. So they're out of the way, grab your hand knife handle, and loosen with your Allen wrench. Now it's time to clean your knife. Cleaning your knife is probably one of the more dangerous things about this process. A lot of people will be tempted to pinch the blade and drag, leaving your fingers exposed to getting sliced. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is you can either take water or what we like to use is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. It just helps eat any of the leftover Sharpie that I may have gotten past the shoulder. Spray, and when you wipe, pull away. Always pull away from where your hand is. Just like that, you now have a sharp knife. And that's just with the 600 grit. 